Hey, thanks for joining us here on 9 News Plus. I'm Chris Bianchi, and it is National Small Business Week. And for a bit more on that and how you can best support small businesses this week, and also moving forward, we are now joined by the Colorado District, District Director for the U.S. Small Business Administration, Francis Padilla. Francis, it is our pleasure to have you with us here on 90s Plus today. Thank you so much, Chris. Happy to be here and happy National Small Business Week. And a happy National Small Business Week to you <laughs> as well. Uh, I guess to start things off, I wanted to ask if there's any sort of special events that Denver or Colorado are having relating to National Small Business Week and of course, this week coincides with Mother's Day, Cinco de Mayo, um, may the fourth be with you, <laughs> I don't know, other um, <laughs> celebrations, but um, I wonder if there's any sort of um, Venn diagram or interlocking between uh, National Small Business Week and maybe some of those other more um, widespreadly celebrated holidays. Well, um, all really, really, really good occasions to purchase mm -hmm. goods and services from small businesses, of course. but. And then we know that Small Business Week is every week for small businesses, but this is a really, really special nationally dedicated week. We've been doing it for about 60 years, and it's just that one week a year where we can just honor and celebrate all of America's entrepreneurs and our innovators. I know in Colorado, we have a lot of things going on. I've seen proclamations across the whole state occurring. Local governments have let us know that they are hosting special programs. They're also doing proclamations from Fort Collins and Inglewood and Monument. I know in Denver, there are a lot of uh, different trainings and workshops and, and mentoring going on. Um, I also understand the Colorado State Legislature is going to be doing a proclamation on the floor this Friday. And Governor Polis did the same, just proclaiming this National Small Business Week. Nationally, we're actually hosting a virtual event. Um, it's been going on since Monday, but it goes through Thursday and it has a whole host of different kinds of um, trainings and one-on-one -on -one peer counselings and mentorings and networking that you can participate in. And it's free. You can just jump in virtually. You you have to read, you can find that at sba.gov backslash NSBW for National Small Business Week. Well, that's great. It sounds like a great kind of local and national mix of events uh, coming up uh, this week uh, to commemorate uh, National Small Business Week. Now, uh, I kind of want to back things up a little bit and sure. learn a little bit about your role and what the SBA, the Small Business Administ Administration, does. So, how I suppose are small businesses doing right now with you know some obvious challenges with inflation and rising home prices uh, and, and, and rental prices right now uh, how are small businesses in colorado doing and perhaps compared to the rest of the country how are colorado small businesses faring at this point well so the first question you asked was what do we do so the sba is actually the only federal agency that's fully committed and our mission is to support small businesses as they start grow expand and unfortunately in bad cases they recover uh, i think we all know that the pandemic devastated our small business community in colorado especially too there were like hundreds of thousands of businesses across the nation that just closed or the main street, streets were shuttered and we know millions of people were out of work and it was through no fault of their own. And I just think we saw this in Colorado, just in droves. There was so much creativity and resiliency of these small business owners and the workers themselves. And so they just bootstrapped a lot of them to keep their businesses you know, going and thriving, surviving first, but then reopening, rehiring and rebuilding. And that's what we're seeing in Colorado. I think the governor said sometime this week that Colorado has really seen a resurgence. And, and again, I like to liken that to the national trend where even though it's been a tough two years, there's like this really strong entrepreneurial spirit and it's really, really strong in Colorado. And if there's any silver lining, it's that we've seen that across the nation, new business applications have grown more than 30% over the course of the pandemic. That's just kind of mind blowing. There were almost 5.4 million new applications in 2020 alone for, for new businesses. Wow. That is a lot. And that's good to hear about that 30% increase. Um, I suppose one thing that we all know about supporting small businesses is obviously going to them, but are there any other ways that we might not 
think about on a day-to-day basis that we can do to better or best support our local small businesses? I think it's kind of a two-pronged approach. Obviously, we want you to purchase goods and services from small business. They say that for every dollar you spend at a small business, almost 70 cents of that stays in that local community. So, it, hmm. you know, it's a, it's a multiplier effect, right? It's the pay forward kind of aspect of this. So small businesses, not only do they employ people and, you know, they keep families sustain, sustaining, but then they also are the ones that are philanthropically giving back to the communities. And I think the biggest thing you can do is buy from a small business, even though we know that you might have other choices. But the other the other side of that is just the education side. And it's for the small business owners and for the support community. And that is that, you know, you never know what you don't know. And the pandemic taught us that. So keeping in touch with all of our different providers um, whether that be our resource partners, doing small business, you know, checkups, getting that free business advice, networking with other fellow small business owners. These are all the things that we can do to help strengthen each other, to keep our community and our small businesses strong. Well, thank you, Francis, so much. And that was Francis Padilla, the Colorado District, District Director for the U.S. Small Business Administration, uh, celebrating and speaking about National Small Business Week and the best ways you can support our local small businesses here in Colorado and across the country. Thanks again for joining us here on 9 News Plus. I'm Chris Bianchi.